is a strong tower. The hand of the Lord is able. The joy of the Lord is our strength, and the zeal of the Lord shall perform it. God bless you, gifted platform listener. There is too much help in God to fear anything. We are so glad you are part of the gifted family. God's word is so dependable, and so we have made it our goal and purpose to make it not only available to you, but also as practical as possible. Please stay safe. The next voice you will hear after this will be Pastor Kwame bringing you the word of God. My name is Stephanie. Shalom to you and your family. Praise be to God. Amen. I'm super excited about this. So officially, Gifted Podcast is on Spotify, on Podcast Addict. We are still pending on um, other platforms like um, Apple Podcast and all the other platform so i'm excited about it amen father we want to honor your name and bless you because you are good and your mercy endure forever it is you who give us our daily bread both spiritually and physically and so as we press into this week we press in knowing that you are with us i want to pray for you i want to imagine myself connected with you and your family and holding hands and i want to pray into these hands that god will strengthen you i want to pray into these hands that god will uh, empower you i want to pray into your hands that god will supply good things may this month be a favorable month for you may things turn properly for you may you gain advantages and favor in the name of jesus i loosen the hand of the enemy any witchcraft that is a manipulating your life in the spiritual dimension i pray that the zeal of god will cause a break in that atmosphere and you will be set free for whom the sun set free the scripture says is free indeed we give you all the glory honor and praise in jesus name amen and amen praise god um so uh we are believing god for our lives to be impactful and meaningful and as we do life we understand that um there are unpredictable things that will come our way but in through it all we are more than conquerors amen let's get busy i have something interesting to share with you on today um we are looking at something very fascinating here i want to argue with you a little bit on a subject which is um four reasons you should not give up four reasons you should not give up amen in the book of first kings chapter 19 verse 7 the scripture says then the angel of the lord came again and touched him and said get up and eat some more or the journey ahead of you will be too much for you then the angel of the lord came again and touched him and said get up and eat some more or the journey ahead of you will be too much for you amen may god bless his word so i want to give you four reasons you shouldn't give up but before that let me exegete it just give you what is happening here so that you be you become aware of what i'm looking at here so in this particular picture there is a prophet of god who is being addressed by an angel in this verse this prophet of God had uh, performed the greatest uh, miracle, so to speak, and had destroyed all the false prophets on the land. And the, vo- the word got to Je- Jezebel, and Jezebel now commands that he will kill the man of God. And so scripture said the man of God was afraid, so he ran away, and he got to a place, and he said to himself, Now I want God to take my life. I am done. I give up. It's all over for me. I want God to take my life. That's what the man of God said. At this point, I want God to take my life. I give up. I can't continue anymore. That's what the man of God was now dealing with and contemplating. So, I want to stop right here and lay for you the four reasons you shouldn't give up. All right. But notice that the man of God has come to a point after he has done his greatest miracle now the, and jezebel fights him and now he runs to god and say god take my life i don't want to do this anymore i'm done i'm done it's over right okay and the bible says that uh, when he was crying to god the angel of the lord comes and prepare food for him and he gives him food and the Bible says he eats the food and he went to, he slept again and the angel of the lord came and said eat some more because the journey ahead of you required that you eat some more 
now that is all we have to work with now so let me lay my four points for you so the reason you shouldn't give up and, and when i say don't give up i mean don't give up on the good things in your life because a time will come where your marriage will will look like you should give up on it your 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 life your business the things that are good in your life your ministry all of those things it will look like you should give up on them but i have four reasons for you to remember any time you come to a place of giving up number one it is the will of the devil that you give up on the good things in your life all this I am done take my life is because there's a devil called Jezebel behind the the, the, the the frustration of the man of God. Ladies and gentlemen, the devil wants you to quit your marriage. The devil wants you to quit the good things. The devil wants to the devil wants you to quit fighting for that which is good. The devil wants you to quit on on believing. The devil wants you to quit. The devil, let me say you, if the devil run podcast, this is what you say. The devil will say, don't talk to that girl. She's a wizard. If the devil run podcast, the devil will say, leave that husband. He's a waste of time. If the devil run podcast, he says, forget about this. So everything that has to do with give up, it is the voice of the enemy. It is the enemy's job to make sure you give up, you stop believing, you become very negative. It is the work of the devil, it is the work of Jezebel that the man of God stops the ministry. So number one, don't give up because the devil wants you to give up. (laughs) One day I went to the store with a, uh, a very renowned man of God, but he's a very humble man of God. But he's a very big famous man of god but he's very down to earth so i was driving him around and and then we went to a shop and i told him he was buying some towels and i picked one for him and the way i picked it for him i knew i I had crossed the line because I, i it's like i wanted him to pick it up so we can go so the fact that i even picked the black or the the whatever color i picked he made sure he wouldn't pick the color i picked because of my approach the point i'm making is that because of the devil's approach make sure you don't give up god will make you a bad dream to the devil make sure you don't give up because it is the devil's message that you give up on your marriage. It's the devil's message that you give up on fighting for your health. It's the devil's message that you give up on fighting for fighting for w- that which is good. The enemy wants you to stay in a place where you're not going to go up. So the devil wants the prophet to give up. Jezebel is, is threatening the man of God. And the man of God says, I am done. Number one, don't give up because the devil wants you to. And I want you to hear it clearly. It is the work of the enemy that any good thing in your life, you give up on it. So when good things in your life become difficult, don't give up. When your life becomes difficult, don't give up. When finances become difficult, don't give up. When every area of your life becomes difficult, don't give up. Because it is the work of the enemy that you give up. Praise God. It is the work of the enemy that you and your friend don't become friends anymore. Division, confusion, pain, and all of that is the work of the enemy. Split conflict. Every division is the work of the enemy. And unfortunately, some Christians have become agents of the enemy. Some pastors have become agents of the enemy. And what they are doing is that they are preaching things like don't forgive. Or, or I mean, they are preaching things like uh, cut them off. Uh, like uh, care about yourself. It's time to be wise. All of these things are ingredients the enemy is happy about. Nobody is preaching reconciliation. Nobody is preaching forgiveness. Nobody is preaching it's, it's okay. Give another chance. You know, give chance. So I came to let you understand, don't give up on your friend don't give up on your child don't give up on your dreams don't give up on your marriage don't give up on your on your fight to be well don't give up on all the good things in your life no matter how difficult because there's a feeling there's a feeling that will come upon you a feeling that you want to give up 
and I know it will come upon you that you want to give up because it's a feeling that will come upon you and it came upon the man of God that is enough is enough I'm done but it is the voice of the enemy point number two don't give up because the strength you need to continue is prepared already oh praise God the Bible says when he when he, he was saying God take my life I want to die I want to give up and then he, the Bible said an angel tapped him and says and there was a bread on a hot stove and a bottle of water for him that represents the strength you need so you have come to a place where everything within you says give up but there is bread and water on your side and that means that the provision to continue is given I want to tell you how you feel and what God is doing is not the same thing how you feel and what God is doing is not the same thing so behind this I want to give up is the devil in front of you you are following how you feel about the marriage how you feel about the business how you feel about what is happening to make a decision now realizing that there is provision in this difficulty if you focus on the bread and not how you feel you have strength to continue so the good news is that there is strength available for you in times when you want to give up when you are tired the lord is our strength he says he increases the strength of those who are no mind even the youth shall run and weary but they that wait upon god they shall renew their strength mount up with wings as eagle run and not be worried and they will not faint also when they walk so i want you to know that there is strength available for you that is why you should not give up that's my point number two don't give up because the strength you need is available the way you feel about the situation is that you want to give up but don't let your feelings lie to you because your feeling is instigated by the enemy it's the devil who's trying to pitch you that uh, that sense of hopelessness it's the devil who's trying to let you feel that it's not worth living anymore but I want you to know that the strength you need to continue is prepared already for you. The strength you need to continue this is prepared for you. The strength you need to continue your life is prepared for you. The strength you need to pursue your dream is prepared for you. The strength you need to carry on your Christian work is prepared for you already. Amen. The strength you need to move on is prepared for you already. So don't give up. Praise God. All right. So it's very important you understand that. That when you come to a place where you are, you, 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 all hope is gone and you feel depressed and you feel like you want to give up, don't give up because the strength you need is already prepared for you. Now, my point number three, which I love so much, is that um, how you feel is not what it is. Amen. Anytime you feel like giving up, how you feel is not what it is because here's, here's what is interesting. Most people... I've realized that most people they put a, a a full stop where the comma is supposed to be in their lives. So this man of God in question, he wanted to give up. Even though there's food for him to eat, he wanted to give up. And the food that has his name on it would have would have gone to waste. Amen some people i'm prophesying to you you will not give up because the feeling to give up will come upon you on monday now realizing that on friday your breakthrough was going to come you understand so the man of god wanted to give up now realizing that the food he needs to eat to continue has already been shipped and was coming to him and secondly he wants to give up not knowing that the chapter he is is not the end of his life there are other things he must do but he has come to a point where he wants to put a full stop there praise the lord i want you to understand that the good things in your life they are supposed to continue so don't stop them there are more days oh praise god you still got more hours on this thing 
you still got more hours on your marriage. You still got more hours on your dream. You still got more hours on your health. You still got more hours on what you pursue. So don't stop because there is still more hours in this dream. So the man of God had come to a point where he was about to put a full stop in his life. Now realize that there's more things ahead. If you follow how you feel, you walk out of something which is still playing. Your life is still playing. Don't quit. Your life is still playing. Don't quit. Your life is still playing. Don't quit. When I see people give up on their marriage, when I see people give up on their lives, when I see people give up on their or on the on the good things in their life, good friendship, beautiful friendship, beautiful connections, beautiful family, and then they allow division to cause them to give up on each other. I'm saying to them, anytime the edge you come to a point where you want to quit so bad, there's a likelihood that you are closer to your miracle. Anytime you want to quit so bad, there's a likelihood that you are closer to your miracle. Anytime you want to quit so bad, there's a likelihood that you are closer to your miracle. Anytime you want to quit so bad, there's a likelihood that you are closer to your miracle. Amen. So point number one, don't give up because the devil it will be very happy if you do. Number two, don't give up because what it takes to continue is already cooked with your name on it. Don't give up because the story of your life is not finished yet. And lastly, don't give up because God is counting on you. Let me tell you something about why you shouldn't give up. People always preach that life is a marathon. But life is also the... I don't know what they call it. Is that the relay or whatever they call it? But you pass the baton to the next person. That's what life is. And if you don't complete your cycle, you stop the whole team from winning. There were things I had that a man of God had to do for God. There are things that your life must do. There are things that must be done. Somebody is waiting for your marriage, so don't quit. Somebody is waiting for your dream, don't give up. Somebody is waiting for you to fulfill that purpose. Somebody is waiting for you to succeed. Somebody is waiting for you to break through. Somebody is waiting for you to marry. Somebody is waiting for you to see the goodness of God. So once you give up, you stop the cycle. Press on, don't give up. Press on, don't give up. I want you to say that I have finished my course. Don't give up until you finish. I have run the race. Praise the Lord. So it is very important that you don't give up. Because it is the devil's work that you give up. And number two, there's strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. There's food for you. And number three, It is too plain. Don't put pause on it. Until you know how Nigerian movies are. Until you see to God be the glory. The movie is now over. This will end in praise. Hallelujah. Until God gets the glory. You are not done. And lastly. This is not about you alone. The next generation is counting on you. The next person is counting that you succeed. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today because you are good and your mercy endure forever. We are grateful for your, the things that you have planned to do in our lives. And we say amen.